The interesting thing about 300 Rise of an Empire is it takes place at the exact same time as the original movie. Um, so it's the story that's kind of interwoven. Um, it's a sea battle where the Greek naval commander Themistocles uh, is in charge of. And uh, what's really interesting is we get to visit some of our characters that we know and love from the original film. What I really like about the film is seeing uh, Rodrigo Santora as Xerxes and seeing his transformation into this god king because I think he's shocking in the first film. I mean, he's hairless and he's really super tall and he's just dripping with gold. And you're like, where did he come from? And we get to see actually where he did come from, uh, you know, and we get to see that um, his grief and his vengeance of his father's death really makes him go to very dark places and we see this transformation from this man to God King and I think that's really interesting. We assembled this amazing team led by No Moro, the director, um, Patrick Totopoulos, our production designer, Simon Dugan, our cinematographer, and they really, you know, in meeting with them, they really understood what this film was all about and what the look needed to be and what the style needed to be. And, and you know, 300 is about attitude. The fact that this movie is in 3D um, is, I think, really amazing um, because we can take this Frank Miller look, which almost has this animated style, and it lends itself in a very different way to 3D. So I think the 3D experience is going to be something that audience members have never seen before. Um, we're pushing the boundaries of what this 3D can be with this really illustrative quality that we have.